your girl, Disfred Amelia, back again with another Fiji haul. I hope you guys have had a blessed week and have had multiple things to be grateful for. Welcome back to another set of my favorites. Today's favorites will be for the month of April. This is going to be a talkie fave. I think I'm going to alternate between the montage kind of favorite video and the talkie kind of favorite video. I'm in a talkie kind of favorite video mood. so. This is what I'll be feeding you guys today. I'm gonna start with a techie fave of mine, which is my Polaroid camera. This baby right here I got for Christmas. I've been wanting this for I can't even tell you guys how long. This is actually a case that came with it. I think it was like a bundle pack, so you got film, you got the actual camera, and then you got the case. So this case is white, my actual camera is pink, and it's just great for capturing moments and memories. I've gotten a lot of good ones of my friends this past month. Even for Easter, we all went to church together for Easter, so I got a Polaroid of that, and I just love it to capture the memories. It's very cute, it's very chic, I guess. It's kind of in style right now and I love it. One of my beauty faves of the month might be surprising, I don't know, it might not be surprising for most, but it is baking soda. Pure baking soda that you use for cooking, for your meals, everything like that. I've actually used it for my teeth and for my face. I've been brushing my teeth with baking soda. I've also been washing my face with baking soda. It took me a little while to get adjusted to brushing my teeth because I hate granulated anything. Like when I get my teeth cleaned at the dentist's office, I don't like that thing that they use to clean your teeth. It, it just has like these little, uh, like granules in there, like sand almost, brushing your teeth, but if you just brush really fast, it gets it all out and then you can go into this paste. I use it on top of my toothpaste, like I wet my toothbrush, put the toothpaste on, wet it again, and then actually pour this on there. I have a spoon that I use just to scoop it all up. And for my face, I just mix baking soda with this Bior baking soda pore cleanser which already has baking soda in there but I just add real baking soda just to add to the extra cleanliness and it actually does freshen up your pores and opens up your pores a lot especially for me I have very big pores so I do use a toner or something at the end just to wipe over my face just so that I can close them and conceal all of that. I have two YouTube favorites this month. One is Monica Style Mew. She is a Dominicana YouTuber. The reason why I'm shouting her out is because I think it's so special when people have their culture involved in what they do. She's Dominican. She speaks fully Spanish. Bienvenidos, y este es el que está con otro video. El video de hoy va a ser un chino diferente. Hoy le voy a enseñar unos cuantos refranes que nosotros dominicanos tenemos. But she is also Afro-Caribbean. She is dark-skinned, and sometimes she gets clashed for that just because people think that her outer appearance and her actual culture does not match up, which is definitely untrue. People of the island, people of Spanish countries, people who are Latino, Latina, they come from all different kinds of backgrounds which have come together to create their culture as a whole. So I just wanted to give her a big shout out because I feel like it's amazing to incorporate your culture in everything that you do. I try to do it as well. She has a couple of videos that are like fully in Spanish, which is amazing. I do not know how to speak Spanish and I think it's really cool. Like I still watch them regardless because sometimes they're like makeup tutorials and she like incorporates like Spanish in everything that she does and in her videos. I don't know. I just think it's really cool. I think it's very important to embrace your culture I think it's very important to stay true to who you are on the inside and your family's background and heritage so I just want to give her a shout out on that my second YouTube shout out is for Todrick Hall oh my goodness people who are Todrick Hall fans know exactly what I'm talking about Todrick Hall is a singer he basically produces his own things he makes his own YouTube videos like fantastic YouTube video productions. He was in Kinky Boots. He's also on tour for his visual album, which is called Straight Out of Oz. It's basically all songs based off of The Wizard of Oz. And they're like hip hop, they're pop, they're rap, they're, they're great. And he's amazing, and I watched a lot of his behind the scenes this last month of April, and it just inspired me to do more and more with my craft and what I do, just to see a production be put on I don't want to say by himself because he did have the help of other people but with his own ideas and with his own vision and he made that happen 
for himself. So a big shout out to Charger Call. If you haven't seen him, if you don't know who I'm talking about, the link is down below. Please check him out. Now we're on to food favorites. I have been sick for basically like the whole month of April. I'm not gonna lie, I've been sick for like probably four weeks. Basically all of April. It has been hard for me to find something because I'm not at home. I didn't have the teas usually available. I usually don't take medicine. I usually use like natural remedies. And I was at the Hive, which is one of our cafeterias, and I found this beautiful thing right here. It's called Argo Tea. This is the flavor Carolina Honey. It's basically tea in a bottle. It's not sweet at all. The only thing is that it's cold. So I guess I use it in replacement for water. But it's basically tea and honey. Like that's basically all that's in it. I drink this a lot. Obviously this is half drunk. Again, half drunken? Half drinking? Half drunk? Okay. Somebody help me with that. And then this is ginger tea, it's ginger twist. It's very organic, it's very real. It tastes delicious, at least to my taste. If you like things that are sweet, this is probably not for you. It's like the real taste of tea. And another upside is that the thing that it's encapsulated in is a glass bottle, like, it's glass. So you can reuse this, you just have to wash it um, really good. There's honey in there, there's ginger in there you want to make sure that you are washing it the proper way but yeah it's class you can reuse it for anything for water whatever you got and it's a cute little bottle I love it also you guys probably know if you don't know I am from New York Arizona's were a thing they still are at least to me they're like 69 cents well not here there are they're 69 cents you can get them it's a big jug of juice for your personal life, you can get them in all kinds of flavors. I, I like Arizona's used to be a real big thing. I don't know if they still are. I also got this at the Hive. Arizona's have a new sparkling flavor. Like what? This is sparkling cherry lime. It says Ricky, a Brooklyn original. So yeah, it's adding extra sparkle to your Arizona's. Like how much better could this be? Oh my god, it's amazing. It's great. But this was not 69 cents because I bought this at my school and obviously everything's not gonna be sold for its regular price, but I think it was like $1.30. Don't ask me why. Like I said before, I was sick for basically this whole month, so water has been my friend. When I tell you I drink water, like two bottles of water basically a day, which is not even enough. Like two bottles, just constantly drinking and drinking. I just came back from like a sinus infection, so I had like a really bad cough. So I would just indulge in water and water and water, which made me have to use the restroom a lot, but it cleaned out my system and I feel like it did a great number on me. You're supposed to drink water anyways, but especially when you're sick, make sure that you're well hydrated. You're just drinking something constantly because you just don't, you don't want to be thirsty and sick and having a dry cough and it's just horrible. Being sick in general is horrible, but make sure you stack up on your water. Now, I love candy, I love sweets, I also love fruit, okay? So what's better than having the two combined? Like nothing, right? I've been loving fruit snacks, oh my gosh, by Welch's, yes, by Welch's, berries and cherries and island fruit. I've been eating these things nonstop and they come in these big resealable bags, which is amazing if you're on the go and you wanna have a little snack on you. This is what I've been eating. Those were all of my tangible favorites for the month and you guys already know what time it is. It's music time. Please join me as I give you my six music favorites for the month of April. If you want to check out the rest of my music list, please check out my March and April Music Monday, which will be down below as well as in the link above. Check it out. I have a full display of music that I've been digging for the month, but enjoy these six right now. This is for my future baby mama, hope your skin is black as midnight I can put you in the bands, fornication is a sin 
Blow me down. You know me now, cause I'm chicken chicken. Now my homie, how dare you think it's different? Boy, you video if you like it please give it a big thumbs up thank you all again for watching please check out my music monday if you want to see the rest of my music catalog for the months of march and april Alrighty, i'll see you guys next time please remember to like comment share and subscribe